Hello everyone, my name is Lexi. And my name is Jessica. And today we're going to be going over how to use Lady R to enhance your brand reputation. Just wanted to let you guys know that we are going to have somebody monitoring the chat throughout the webinar in case you need to ask any questions and stay for a surprise at the end. But we're going to be talking about um, why brand reputation is so important. And I feel like this kind of goes with three different things and it's customer loyalty, trust and credibility, and competitive advantage. And I feel like with customer loyalty, this is used to you know increase your brand reputation. And I feel like if you have a positive brand reputation, it's gonna bring in repeat purchases and kind of stop the noise from a client coming in for the first time and then never coming back again, so. Yes, and another also point that I wanna touch base on why your brand reputation is so important is also that competitive advantage, right? So there are, tons and tons of med spas, big or small, rather you're a solo injector, right? And at, at the end of the day, it's what's my competitive advantage that is going to get them to book with me versus maybe someone called Sarah's Botox bar. Botox bar. Yeah. And so what I really think is huge with competitive advantage is really about their experience. Their experience should happen right as soon as they walk in the door. The next thing I also want to touch base, and I honestly think it's one of the most important ones about brand reputation, is your trust and your credibility. So, especially in this industry, you you know everyone, these clients, your 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 customers, they are putting all of your trust in you, based on maybe they want to look younger, maybe they want to enhance features that they really love about themselves, maybe they, you know, want that confidence, and so that's why trust and credibility is so huge for brand reputation. If you don't have that trust, then that reputation is just not gonna be there. And so that's why we're, for this uh, webinar, we're gonna be talking about Google reviews. So we're just gonna wanna touch a little base about Google reviews and why they're so important for your brand reputation. So just alone, according to Forbes, 90s, percent people um, actually look at your reviews before actually even visiting your business, which is, I think alone says a lot. Yeah, totally. And I feel like this is what I think of is the restaurant business. So let's say you're going to a new restaurant for the first time and you know, you're wanting it to be a good experience, good food. The first thing they're going to do is look up the restaurant on Google, right? and look at their reviews, maybe look at some pictures of the food to see if you know you actually want to spend your money and go and visit the business. And I feel like this kind of goes hand in hand with the aesthetics industry. So for example, a client comes in for lip filler for the first time. I feel like the first thing that they're gonna do is look you up on Google and check your reviews, maybe look at some before and after pictures, mm -hmm. and then that's what's gonna ultimately make their decision if they want to choose you as a med spa so that's why i feel like online reputation is so important and that's how we're going to be showing you how to use this in lead ar and making your life so much more easy yes yes and also really quick before we dive into lead ar also even just google reviews on why they're so important too is that it really does even the playing field whether you're a solo injector or what whether you're a small or a big business, those Google reviews really, really do help your your SEOs in your search when in, in searching. So that's also really important. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and start diving into our reputation management. So how to get here inside of Lead AR is it'll be on your left hand side, it'll be towards the bottom, and we'll click reputation management. So here, this is just an overview page that we're viewing right now. So here you can see your invite goals. You can totally customize that, create a goal on how many uh, review requests that you are sending to your clients that come in. And then here you can just see average ratings, right? The sentiment, these are just a brief overview on um, your reviews. So um, towards the top, I'm gonna click up into where it says requests. So here also, you can also just have a nice view of all of the review requests that you have sent already. And then if you ever did wanna send a review request, you would click send review request here up towards the top right hand side with that purple button. This is if you wanna do it manually, totally up to you. I know Lexi is gonna take over in just a short couple of minutes and show how we can actually automate this. And then I'm gonna go back up towards the top and actually click into reviews. And so here we're using a test account, so we, we're not seeing any reviews here, but it's really nice as long as you 
um, integrate your, your Facebook account and your Google account. What's really nice is it also alleviates you having to know log into Google and respond to your reviews there. Or same thing um, if you're doing it with Facebook. The nice thing with using Lead AR is all of your reviews will all live inside of Lead AR and you can actually respond right in this tab too. So that's also a really nice feature that we have. The next part I'm gonna go ahead and go over is widgets. And I actually really do like this um, tab. It's, you can completely customize it and actually put it onto your website. So again, if somebody clicks onto your website, they have all the opportunity to view your reviews there too as well. So that's just more of like the viewing side. I definitely wanna dive deeper into the settings, right? How do I set this up? So what you're actually going to do is click this little settings wheel here, and we're gonna click here. And the first thing that I wanna to touch base is reviews AI. So right, you have three different options. So you can have it on where, right, maybe you're busy or maybe you're just you know, not the best at keeping up with responding to your reviews. So what you can do is you can turn on reviews AI and it will automatically respond for you. Another option that you also have is doing the suggestive. So it won't actually respond for you, but I think it's also nice too to just give you some, some help, um, the verbiage, right? So you have that option too as well or you can just also have it turned off. And then if I scroll down a little bit, if you do turn on your AI, this is also a really neat feature is you can actually kind of set up what you want that response to be based on the rating that they gave you. Mm -hmm. So if you click here, you can say, you know, if they did five stars, if they did four, right, et cetera, you can say, a wait time too, right? So especially if we are gonna be using AI, we don't wanna make it seem so like robotic where, oh, they responded like 30 seconds later, right? Mm -hmm. So this is also a nice feature, right? You can like, oh, maybe I'll wait, you know, half an hour, hour, minutes, really, it's really up to you. And then also here is the review response footer too as well. You can also customize that too. And then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. And again, right, depending on what you have integrated, if you integrated both Google and Facebook, here you can see the links that come with it. The link would be here, um, this is a test account, so we don't have links right here, but, or you can also make a custom link too. And then in terms, so, oh yeah, go sorry. ahead. Sorry, I just gotta ask you a question. <laughs> Um, so as far as like a custom link, like what would you use a custom link for? Right, so custom link is maybe, right, you wanna use that custom link for your Yelp. Got it, right. okay, that, yes. makes, yep. that makes better sense. So like let's say I want to have a QR code at my front desk for scan, or like leave us a review and they can scan and pull up the review, would this be the link that it would go to? Yes, okay, yes. Okay, cool, yeah, so if you ever wanted to do that, I feel like that's, um, you know, a pretty good option to get that online reputation up um, just to have if somebody really enjoyed your their experience at your med spa, what you can do is have that QR code set up on the front desk or something like that, like scan this for, um, you know, 10% off your next um, treatment or something along the lines of that. Um, and this is where you would grab that link to connect to a QR code. So just wanted to hop in there. Yes, of <laughs> All right, and so now we're gonna actually go into you know how we want it to look when you are actually sending this review request. So here we can see you have email, so you can either choose to do an email or if we scroll down, also you have the option to do text messaging. And again, right, totally customizable. So I'm gonna scroll back up towards the email reviews. Here, right, you can totally customize your subject line. Here as well too is um, when you want to send that that email. So um, immediately, maybe right. I know it, sometimes it takes you know based on you know the service that they're getting right. Maybe it takes that two full weeks to fully you know see those results. So maybe we want to you know wait two weeks before we send that out. And then also here just some more settings. Click or until clicked, repeat this every day. So right. We can try to send it once, maybe we'll just wait one more time, maybe wait a couple of days and just kind of nudge them again and say, hey, you know, if you're happy with, with you know, the service, um, please leave this review. All right. I'm gonna go over. Yeah, go ahead. I just have a couple of things to say about this too. So just know that 
if you do turn this on, it, it's going to make a little bit more sense in a little bit about um, mm -hmm. the automation. Yeah. But just know that if you do turn this on, it's going to be every single time that you yeah. check in a client. So if you're wanting to send them a Google review every single time they have an appointment, you can totally do that. But if you only wanted to send it once, then I can go over that in the automation. Just wanted to you know, let you guys know that so you're not sending people Google reviews twice if you did have an automation and this turned on. Yes. No, that very good point. Yeah. And then here, SMS review. Again, you can totally customize what that me message says as well as um, that image, right? You can have your little logo. Logo. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And so that is pretty much everything in the reputation management side. And now Lexi is going to go ahead and take over how we can have that automated. Yeah, so same thing goes for SMS here. Um, this will send every time that you check them in. So just wanted you guys to know the settings and understand that there so you're not double sending reviews or anything like that. So let me go back into here and go into automations. So, give me one second, there it is. So I've just labeled this as a Google satisfaction automation. So. What's really cool about this automation is the trigger is gonna be that somebody came in for an appointment. And so you can text them, wait one day after the appointment, and then ask them personally, um, hey, how was your experience? Do you rate us one to five? Um, we appreciate your feedback, things like that. And I would definitely try to use these custom values here to make it seem a little bit more personal than um, you know it seeing super automated. So I think that this is a really cool SMS that you can send after they booked the appointment or after they came in for the appointment. And so then here we have a wait time for them to respond for a couple of days. And what's gonna happen here is this if else is super cool. So if they respond with a rate one through four, you are gonna, they're gonna get the tag dissatisfied because I feel like anything below a five, there's something that went wrong in the um, appointment that maybe you wanna be notified about. So they're gonna get that tag dissatisfied, you're gonna be notified, and they are gonna get an automatic repeat of thank you, um, you know, for responding to this, how can we make your experience a five? I feel like this is just really good feedback for your practice yeah. to know, you know, where what you're missing or you know what you could do better. Um, and then if they do give you a five, that is when you can send them a request. Like, thank you so much for the five. You know, if you really feel this way, please, um, you know, send us a, or rate us a five on Google reviews. Um, and then they get the tag satisfied. So I kind of wanted to go over like why you're wanting to do dissatisfied and satisfied. And I think, you know, let's say you turn this automation on today, right? And then you kind of want to say, oh, like how is my overall um, Google satisfaction or how, how can I measure that a little bit better? Um, you can look and see based on the tags, like maybe create a smart list. Okay, 40 people were dissatisfied, but I had 50 people that were satisfied. And maybe you can go through those messages and see where you need to make adjustments in your business. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's just a great way to measure how happy clients are and you know what you could do better. Um, and so then if you can also, if they did respond to this message, if they respond, you'll be notified again. So if you want to reach out to them personally at that point, I feel like that would be a good thing to do. Um, and then I kind of wanted to touch on the settings here. So for this, if you only want them to get this uh, like one to five the first time that they come in or maybe going forward, you just would not want to do allow reentry. So they can only fall into the workflow once. They'll only get the message once instead of every single time that they come in for appointment, they get this. Because I feel like that can seem a bit repetitive, but again, it's totally up to you um, which way you kind of wanted to go about that. And again, here, settings, you can always adjust the times, things like that. Yeah. Um, anything that you wanted to add yeah, to Yeah, another thing I also want to um, just touch base again or, or reiterate is this message that we're sending them first, because. Right, I totally get it. Sometimes you don't want to send a review every single time to someone that comes in, which totally get that. So that's why we kind of send that like fake review, I guess, like we're still asking for their feedback, but it's not, we're actually not, that first text message, we're not actually sending them that first Google review. Yeah. So that's what I like about that is we can send them a little message, just kind of feel it out, right? And then that's where, oh, 
based on what their rating is, they're either gonna actually get that link to leave that Google review or not. Yeah, and I feel like this can also increase like a five star rating because you're not sending sending a Google review to people who have rated you less than a five. So that's kind of why I feel like that would be, um, you know, a good point of only sending to people that are rated a five. And you can obviously adjust any of those, any oh, of yeah. these things, but, um, if you are wanting this automation at the end of the webinar, there's gonna be a QR code mm -hmm. for you to fill out the form and I can put this automation in your account. Yes, yeah. um, but I kind of wanted to go over a little bit about AR Sync. Um, so it is a listings management program that basically keeps all of your information up to date across all the, your different platforms. Um, and I know that you had a good example about yeah, it earlier. Yeah, a perfect, a perfect example for this is, you know, let's say there was a really bad snowstorm, right? And you have to close for the day. So an example for utilizing AR Sync is, right, anywhere that someone could possibly find your hours of uh, the hours that you're open, right? Using AR Sync, you would only have to just change it once and it would go out to all those platforms that have the ability to show your hours of operation. And so that I think that's just like a really good or good example in explaining um, AR Sync. Yeah, totally. And I just wanted to let you guys know that there will be an email going out about this. So it's going to have the recording of this webinar and then more information on AR Sync. If you are interested in getting that set up, we can point you in the right direction there. But I think that is about all. Or do you have any last minute things you wanted to say? Um, no. Okay. No. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining today. And uh, just be on the lookout for that QR code. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.